we are now literally surrounded by elephants. What we did is they disappeared into the thicket and we lost view of them. So I did a sneaky move and sort of got in front of the herd and it was pretty amazing how I managed to choose the exact spot that they came out. I didn't think I was going to get this lucky this afternoon. And I think after my days of having no elephants, they've all decided, right, Taylor, we'll let you see us and we'll put on the most fantastic show. Oh, look at the little one just catching up. Hello, little one. Now, I don't think that that's mom. I think that that's sibling. That this little one, older sister, that this little one is running and cuddling up to. Hello, yes. You are very sweet, aren't you? Now, it is tiny, less than six months old, quite easily. <laughs> there we go, catching up to mom now. In between, it must be a very safe elephant, in between all its siblings and then, of course, mom. How cool is that? Now they're going straight towards uh, this pan. Now the other day I drove this road. It's the sneaky old road that we've had many sightings of Karula on. Uh, and this is actually one of the last one of the last areas that I was seeing her. And there's a beautiful big pan not too far from here. We checked it the other day. I got out to see if I could find any leopard tracks, but I didn't. And that's where I'm hoping uh, that the elephants are going to go to have a drink of water. They didn't seem to do any digging in the Mulwati earlier. Just, of course, that youngster covering himself with a little bit of sand, which is unusual because, if anything, elephants prefer to drink the lovely fresh water. So by digging it, and there's a lot of elephant holes already dug in the ground, it wouldn't be very difficult to just scoop a couple of trunkfuls of sand out. They are indeed, they are going there too. Good elephants. Good, good, good elephants. I should have actually been even sneakier and gone and waited at the pan, but I just couldn't contain my excitement. Now, Super Dude, you're wondering if elephant bulls in must would hurt other animals um, just sort of out of aggression? Most certainly. I don't think that uh, they'd put it past them. They'll often take their frustrations out on other animals. I'm going to poke my nose in here, and I think we'll be able to see over the gr tall grass. So, so yes, they would. I don't think it's very common, though, but you can't rule anything like that out. There was an interesting video that's been doing its rounds on social media of a big elephant bull unfortunately behaving horrifically towards an elephant calf, a tiny, tiny elephant calf. And I think I spoke about this the other day from Addo. So there's the perfect example of um, sort of how intolerant elephant bulls can be when they are in mass. And that's why it's so important uh, to keep out of their way and give them room. Again, elephants are the only animals out here that can do any damage to your car in the sense of turning it upside down. So it's important that you pay them the respect that they are due. Hello, little one. You're having a great time, aren't you? They don't all seem to be interested in this muddy water. Just a couple of the youngsters. So maybe they're, maybe they're on their way somewhere else to go and have a drink. Ooh, careful. Slipping and sliding on the Saturday afternoon sunset safari. Was that good enough alliteration for you, David? Yeah, not, bad. not bad? We'll work on something, though. I need to get better. <laughs> Remember the other morning when we tried to do it? Oh, and here comes that tiny little calf that walked right in front of the car. Hello. Now we'll be able to gauge how old this little one is. Look at it. Oh, you're actually doing a good job with your little trunk. Well, as you know, it takes an elephant up to about a year to be able to train most of the muscles and uh, to be able to drink water, pull bits of grass and feed on other types of vegetation. I don't think it actually got much water. <laughs> I think it was just more practicing the action, muscle memory. And you can see that this older elephant does a sterling job. Definitely got all those muscles trained and, and easily able to control its trunk and spray the mud on either side. Now this is always an interesting track to go and look at afterwards where an elephant has been standing to see the dry patch. Um, unless they do that, you'll just see, of course, a bit of mud in the middle, but you'll see sort of spray lines on either side, on the left hand and the right hand side of the elephant. And I showed you the other day with sand on bushwalk, which was nice to see. It looked like a rhino scraping, but it wasn't. It was from the elephants. And how great is that? Who have we got here, David? Oh, hello. Hello, little elephant sneaking up behind us. Hi, Gil. See, very relaxed. Very, very happy to walk right between us. That was for great.